Hey guys, Ratchet here and welcome back to Black Sad Under the Skin. Hope everyone is well. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. I know I keep saying that, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I am. So we've just arrived down here after the horse gave us a key from his mouth. <laughs> um, and we've come down into this like cellar place. It's quite deep down from what I could tell with all the steps. And then the monkey followed us down and shut the entrance behind him. And I told Black Sad he should have taken the key, but he didn't listen, obviously. Oh, wow. Something going on here for sure. This is obviously locked. Oh, it's not locked now. <laughs> oh, interesting. So, those pills that we saw, um, that Mitchell, the fake doctor lizard, gave to Helen, um, the tennis player. I wonder whether they're supplying athletes. I'm going to say everything I think. Um, I know I probably am wrong. Oh, I see a card. Um, can I have it, please? No? Not the right angle? There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I wonder. Turn around, Black Sad. This way. There we go. Yeah, there's a possibility of something. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. But it's good to get um, your thoughts out there, I think. Um, as you go through the game because they can change quite dramatically as you go through okay what else do we have what's that hmm film wheels is that it just a hum oh Okay, well let's get that card while we see it. Yay! Look at that, he's all happy. <laughs> okay, let's continue on that. That's how I feel at the moment when I play the game. So can I take mm. one of these? No, okay, can we just... Oh, oh there's a screen here. Are we just going to go home again? No, there we go. Subject, Brunhilde Gruner. Treatment, day 1500. The patient's ability to speak continues to diminish. Now she can only pronounce the occasional word in German. Tissue degeneration persists. And yet, perhaps due to drastic reduction of benzyl protein dosage and an increase of anupropic, we have observed a 3% of deceleration of said degeneration. Furthermore, and perhaps this is the best finding so far, the subject exhibits a mild recovery of her speaking. It's not a lot, and yet... We are on the right track. All hope is not lost. Okay. That was weird. Okay, this doesn't sound very good. Have we got anything else here? I like the way they like thought about like the certain characters, like the rat is doing the testing on subjects. When normally, you know, rats are tested on in the real world for things. Um, yes, interesting. These are the. There we go, Helen Moore. These are the tablets. What are they up to? 
So I did have an inkling that it was drug related when we were upstairs. All athletes names. Okay. Should we have a quick gander at the deductions? So just for, uh, I don't know if it's Jill or, or Gil, I'm just going to try this. Oh, what's another one? I think it's that. So, right, let me just do that again. So let's do this one along with this one. And a sniper killed. Oh, that's another one. Oh, here we go. Aha! I've got to stop it with my ha -has. What if it was Gil <laughs> who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? I think that was the case. Okay, so we've still got one deduction there. Let's check it, because I'm not sure if it's related to the pills or not. But we know Helen was given some pills. Yeah. Um. I can't see anything regarding the... So we know who the guy is now. Mitchell. No. Okay, that one. And then who's the guy? Really? Okay, so let's go with that one during the war. Um, Brother in Arms. And this one. <laughs> Um, that's, I don't know if this is the case, but I'm just going to try these two. No, I'm not getting anywhere, guys, so we'll come out. Come out for the minute. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Flammable, no smoking. You hear that, John? These are all like the trays, aren't they? Oh, real? Oh, they're all movies. That's Spanel. Wow. Subject: Craig Spanel. Treatment: De Sion. The subject is a veteran baseball player who has lost speed, strength, and agility. Due to the regular aging process, the patient refers intense pain on the right scapula, most likely caused by an old injury. The goals of our medical approach are twofold. To relieve pain caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms and to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. Treatment. Day 120, the patient no longer feels pain when using his right arm, circumstance that allows him to pitch without fear. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria experienced three hours after dosage which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts with bouts of mild trembling. Treatment, day 341. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance 
have become increasingly short while the ensuing periods of depression and weakness have become longer, including severe trem. Although we have met all therapeutic goals, we will proceed to terminate the treatment. In order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient. Who is it we were talking to and they said that Spano had um, got like all depressed and stuff? He went a bit strange, didn't he? I don't know who we were talking to. It might have been, um, uh, is it Thorpe? I think so. Sonia's uncle, or aka uncle. Um, yeah, so that could have been a cause and a change in his behaviour. Let's check there's nothing else over here. A list of names? Somehow related to chemical agents? Oh, this is not good, is it? Oh, that another deduction. Okay, let's check those now. Okay, so we've got pill bottles, athletes' names. And then can we go for Spanel? Mitchell is cashing in by selling drugs to enhance athletes' performances. So maybe that's why he was at the hospital with Yale. Possibly. Because he did recover quite quickly, didn't he? But then maybe that's just because he's an athlete. Did you say I had a new deduction? I do. Oh, let's do it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, so Spanow's health took a toll after using drugs. part of Mitchell's scheme isn't that it's illegal or unethical, it's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. Yes, very dangerous meds. It's the unwanted side effects. We've still got one deduction. I don't think I'm picking up on what it is. Let's just check. We know who the guy passing the jail's doctor is. I don't know why it's not letting us. Select it. So who is the guy? And then I would have said one of Dunn's brothers in arms tried to pass the jail's doctor doesn't like it. Okay, let's leave that for the moment. And let's carry on. I think we've checked most everything. I don't think I've missed anything. Oh, and if this is locked, has he locked us in now? Oh no. Are we going to see him? Because he wasn't far behind us. Oh no. Go in! 
Hey. You're back. It's all right. Don't be afraid, little girl. I'm a friend, okay? Vita, no hurt. Oh, no, this is terrible. <sighs> Let me look in this box first. <gasps> Take puppets. She might like that, a way to talk to her. Once upon a time. It's a beautiful princess. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess called. Brunhilda! Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy, said Brunhilda. And then Brunhilda, who had a beautiful name. Really beautiful. A really beautiful name ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? Magical cat. A magical cat called John. <laughs> I'm a magical cat. My name is John. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John the cat. I really like magical cats. Hi, Brunhilda. I'm going to use my magical power to help you. Uh. Get out of a cage, too. You say silly things, John the Cat. So what are you going to help me do? Oh, okay. Fill some color balloons. Fill up a bunch of color balloons. Ha! 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 I love balloons. What's your favorite balloon color? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat, it's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite balloon color is... Pink. Pink. Whoa, Brunelda. Mm. That's exactly what I was about to say. Well. <laughs> Bird. John. Brunhinda. Front. <laughs> Do play each look. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, Bird. Why are you wearing that mask? Well, uh, gas. Uh, well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, Bird? And what about you, Boonhead? Mm. Don't you think that? Uh, Oh, this is terrible. Gil? You know you're not allowed down here. You know you're not allowed. It's... You bastard! I kill you right here, right now! I don't know. You don't know? I know you're testing drugs on that girl. Brunhilde? No! She's my daughter! Really? She was born with a degenerative disease. 
a rare condition similar to the Angleman syndrome. There are only four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reach the age of five. But I couldn't give up. I continued to research and found something. It didn't make her better, but anyway, that same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina and their reflexes. It also seems to improve their pain threshold. Somehow, the Reich heard about my experiments and tried to recruit me to create super soldiers. Yes, that Reich. We're talking late 30s Berlin. I escaped with Brunhilde and came to your country. But the American military also heard about me. I spent the entire war experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs and Brunhilde got worse. But then, God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war, and he came to offer me a deal. I would make drugs for athletes, and he would sell them. With my earnings, I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. What else do you want me to say? Okay. It's, um... Odd that she's living down there. I understand probably keeping her close, but it's still quite awful. Long-term effects. What are the long-term effects of those drugs? It depends on the patient, but they all develop an addiction, even Brunhilde. They also suffer other symptoms. Some become delirious. She's losing muscle mass by the day. Others lose their ability to focus, and some, slowly but surely, lose it all. About those pills. Okay, what have we got here? What is he looking at? <sighs> Don't dwell on it, Josh. You had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. I would have done the same thing. Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else and it's all that bad cat's fault. Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A prettier one. And you'll be happier there. Now go with Papa, honey. Give him a kiss, go on. Give him a kiss, go on. <laughs> I'm, uh -oh. I'm sorry about this, Josh, but we gave it our best, didn't we? Huh? What? What do you mean, Angus? Uh-oh, highly flammable. I wish it hadn't come to this. Angus, what's wrong? Goodbye, Josh. I hope you're happy, you son of a bitch. They were good people. 
Well, we didn't do it. Ah. <laughs> I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. You're so far from the truth. What the? Oh, wrong button. That's a monkey, isn't it? I'm completely confused. Spano just ran out that way. Oh, I don't know what I did wrong there. It's acting a bit weird. I'm pressing retry. bad arm okay guys i think this is probably <laughs> a good place to stop i'll get carried away else thank you so much for joining me in black sand under the skin i do hope you're enjoying this um, playthrough and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye <laughs>